That is focused things trying to kill me. You did saw a question mark. Almost drown it in beer. This question. Right. Doors locked. So guy I can restore access. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Bashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Shouldn't that be on you? What is it doing here? My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. It feels like so long ago now. And Rost was an OG. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Or it'll be safe. So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the Karcha. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them. As it does to my people. And the Tanakh. I just think my faith says it all as is. That's all. That it does. You know, I'm getting... Um... Mass Effect Normandy vibes right now. <laughs> Aloy, like, okay. there are more supplies in the chest. Help Characters yourself. are just chilling, you know? Having casual conversations. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core, ostensibly this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenith got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. Thought we had to assign 
which subordinate function we were going to go to, but I guess not. It's a little loud, Aaron. I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. Well, you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. <laughs> Aloy. Hey, thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Yeah, I'm not excited about fighting no grim horns. It's not this place. Do I get out of here again? First choice. Well, manual save. Been a hot minute since I've done that. Um, now, what do I want to do? I want to go over here. I've been wanting to do this for some time now, but. Kinda wanna go over here as well, just to try it out. Uh, as far as I know, I still can't do that. That's still locked. I think Poseidon is the the highest. Oh no! I I think Poseidon is the I. Uh, okay, no, Demeter is the highest of them. Okay, okay. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of exploration.
and uh, potentially some side quests as well. Kind of want to continue with the main story, but side quests. You know, this game has definitely brought out more of the I want to explore feeling. And part of that is because I can't just skip all the way to the the uh, the tall necks and and whatnot, but no point using fire against that. Part of it is also uh, there's actually side quests and things like that that are worth doing that have, you know, like, actual characters. And, uh, you know, that... That's pretty important when it comes to things that are trying to be compelling. So, I want... At least... I don't necessarily have to do all of the which call it going down I'd like to get them on the map some other stuff. We had it all. This wreck scattered all across this mountain. Glad they let me climb out of here because that invisible wall was not letting me handle it. Something you've seen a lot of people complain online about. Aloy's design not being pretty enough or something. Like she is pretty, you think? Just not in typical Laura Croft type way. And it's ironic saying that, given Laura looks different now too. Uh the signals coming I, from below that rubble over there. I Just waiting there for the warm 
machines to arrive. So there must be another flight recorder transmitting a signal. Maybe I can I'm gonna check say it out. something weird. And it's I I haven't seen that particular commentary, but I have seen that particular commentary before. <laughs> Um, I, I would certainly say I, I don't agree with, uh, that, that commentary. Um, but I think me personally, I think the biggest factor is if you were to put depictions of Aloy next to depictions of characters that people would classify as pretty. I think wardrobe is probably a huge factor. Um, you know, it, Aloy's not running around in scantily, scantily clad uh, clothing and stuff like that, and and you know she's Wait, actually wearing up? equipment that seems relatively reasonable for both the period that uh, uh, that she's in and the um, the like I'm, I'm gonna say reasonability that's probably not the correct thing to say Uh, you know, like it's it's functional for what she needs to do and who she interacts with and things like that. It's probably the, the better way to say it. And personally, I like that. Uh, the the overall design of women in video games is. is <laughs> Definitely very uh, one sided. Um, like uh, a lot of like if if you're a knight, if you're a female knight, you know, you have to have the the boob indentations and stuff like that. Do I have anything that can hit it with purge water? And, uh, you know, that, that, that's just not how armor works. Oh, you want a scrap. I don't want a scrap. These are the coordinates Vesra gave his henchmen in the Daunt. Time to see what the Eclipse is to. Here! We need to get into those ruins and fire what they're up to. Those machines look like they've been overridden. You better be careful. <laughs> You're still chasing out. Go away. Over there. Hello. Wait, what's 
it later. I can keep going. And proportions are much more legitimate seeming. In the 90s, Laura Croft had chicken leg thighs and beach ball breasts. Well, I think uh, Laura Croft in the 90s is probably not the... Okay. Is there a reason why your... your aim is so terrible? The proportions for for Laura Croft in ye olden days is probably not a a great comparison, you know. Uh, there was also I know your tricks. Other characters that are very unique, I guess. Uh, Uh, ways of showing their their character. I guess the best way I'm gonna put that. I've been to see here. Where is that last guy? Um, like if you look at the Tomb Raider games nowadays, that's probably a more or a better until I deal with these guys. better comparison. Yeah. Hello there, Yef. Let's keep those eyes open. That's all of them. Now I need to get hey. into these ruins. I can help Stop you get in. Whatever this Vesra's doing. Let's talk. Hey, I'm already up here. Next time there will be a showdown. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse, bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. Their leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. <sighs> that sounds bad. You should probably head back and miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, 
Well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. I mean, I could leave and you can go back to getting beaten every day. That totally sounds like something uh, Aloy would say. Maybe not exactly in those words, but, you know, close enough. Oh, look at all this. Must have been some battle the old ones fought here. fought hard here. Looks like this place was under siege. Men of shadow. The blood and sweat of our slaves seed this ancient battleground. And soon, we will reap our destiny. That's my way in. I'll save the extra stock for later. Upon this fortress, we construct the foundation of our empire. We, privileged few, will rule over thousands. Quite an operation the Eclipse have here. Time to put an end to it. <laughs> Shock ammo could help. I don't know if he has a mask on. What's going on? There's nothing out there. Remember, only I can give you this gift. Mustn't be anyone here only this time. Only I can lead you. For I am no longer just a man. I wield the very Someone power the of death itself. Voice.
Come on. Any day now. That guy has a mask. Movement. There. Oh, shoot. We should go and check. Ah! I had to come looking. Hey! Revenge! Oh, no! Oh, no! My revenge is looking out for this ancient battleground. And soon, we will reap our destiny. I'm not giving up. Don't you die. Not giving me that extra wing. You die. So much for the Without guards. Me that extra wing. Now for their leader. Those speakers have to be connected to a power source somewhere. Probably inside that big structure. Upon this fortress, but that's where I'll find we it. construct the foundation of our empire. We Privileged few will rule over thousands. Well, whatever it is we're going to fight here, it's going to be a big thing. And it will be dangerous. An outlander? Who is I she? I gotta let them out. Help Quick. us! Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Blessed thanks! Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? <sighs> Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death. Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, to take care of Vezra. Certain death for the bad guys. Baited back here. Thought it was gonna be a whatchamacallit. It was not a whatchamacallit. The arts of the old ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. Ah. The savior of Meridian. How kind of you to deliver Shut you. up, Vezra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. Doesn't have to be a Ravager. That Ravager isn't going to make things easy. I gotta take it out, fast.
right, next item. You're safe, do you? Uh, no, nope, no good. Open fire! <laughs> How does she keep dodging? lot harder for that not with this we'll both be gone in an instant Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others. I, I told them to hide. Are, are they? Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plain Song. Thanks, Yef. Listen, sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades, said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know, but I intend to find out. It looks like Bezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around, find out if there's any more Eclipse we need to worry about. Uh, there's loot back there. I did not get it. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this... It means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. Maybe try my focus. I left word in the dawn. If the others are still alive, they'll find it and try to join me here. Not if I take them out first, which I did. Five 
triads. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, they will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. Guess that's all I need to know. I should talk to Yef. Let him know what I found. What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you, but... If you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. Let's get out of here. There's still stuff that we need to do there, but it's whatever. This is a big game. Wonder how long it is. It's uh, a good question. It's probably pretty crazy. I beat the first game in like 27 hours or something like that. And I didn't do a whole lot of side quests. I think I'm past the 27-hour mark. Machine. Or at least getting close, and I'm not anywhere close to finishing the game. But I've also been doing way more exploration and way more side quests. Oh, you know that. That plays a factor. This ain't no sunshine on my face. Alright, let's... Do this cauldron. Oh dear. I don't think I can override you. Guess there are more cauldrons out there.
Should be able to hack this open. This cauldron will let me know if I want to move to any other future cauldrons. Wasn't the biggest fan of cauldrons. These no. ledges look like they'll hold up. In the first game. In terms of, you know, like having fun doing them. The benefit for doing these cauldrons don't necessarily All too worse. Table seems sturdy. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Here we go again. That was fun. Now I need to find my way to the core. Fire could do a lot of damage. Should hide me for a while. Should be able to get across if I hack that node near the gap. More machines. I gotta find a way to the other side. Could catch a right on those to get across. If I don't get shot at by those machines. Stash has room. I have to get past this shield. Everything's being moved to the back of this corridor. That has to be the core. I should be able to climb these vents if I time it right. A rush of air. Well, this didn't work out. Oh. 
was that prompt that I got. Oh, glide. This not the very beginning, right? Is Oh, it looks like it put me where where am I? to where I was, but it seems like Maybe I skipped I ahead. That arm to get across. Jumping onto that arm, so far so good. Now I just need to jump off at the right time. Get much use out of shock ammo. Hello. A couple of those. I need you to turn around. Walker Claw did not give me what I was hoping I would get from that. Those metal carriers can get me closer to the core. But how do I reach them? Is taking me to. 
Could try getting to that arm below. Fence. I can make that jump. Should be able to hitch a ride on those metal carriers from here. Oh, there's a thing right over there. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. I'm gonna have to get off this thing soon. Those arms can help me reach the core. I just have to get to them. I'm getting close to the core. Turn this right. Made it. One more to go. Those metal carriers should get me to the core. Those machine overrides. Um, can I turn off Rumble? It was turned off for everything, and I'm still getting it when I open up stuff. I've never seen machines stored like that. At least uh. it's deactivated for now. You're giving me hippos. Good here, use of this. Huh? There's the core. Now I just need to access it. 
not exactly the biggest fan of having to fight this hippo. Throw that out there. But, for my troubles, I am going to get at least one tusk. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Machines got back up. There's two hippos. doing with teeth. Grinch? Access the core now. Well, then. looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the cauldron security grid. Where's the tusks at? I know there's more than that. Here we go. Should be able to override more machines with this. Right, being able to override a hippo sounds pretty amazing. 
Getting close to a hippo to override it. That was tough. That's not a hippo. That's not a hippo. My focus doesn't even recognize That's not a hippo. Must be something I haven't seen yet. That's not a hippo. More corrupted data. That's not a hippo. That's a hippo. Should be able to override this machine. Your soul is mine. Now everyone's on the same side. At least for a while. Should be able to override Scrunchers now. That's what a sucker does. All right, well, while that's going on, I would like to stuff. I think there was something here that I wanted. Crafting time. to get this. Set a machine to either aggressive or defensive behavior when overriding. Interesting. Yeah, I'm still not very interested in anything that's over here. Um, I need this for something else. Just grab that. That's warrior bow. Grab that because it's one point. This is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific time. 
to continue with some uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, probably going to do mostly side quests and exploration tomorrow, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, and then Thursday, which is tomorrow, uh, also be doing a co-stream of the Game Awards at 4.30 p.m. Pacific. Um, which, if today were, uh, tomorrow, then that would be in about five and a half hours, a little bit less than five and a half hours. In case uh, time zones are a thing. Uh, but I don't think I got anything else. So see ya the next time I see ya. Peace.